Hello, and welcome to this quick walkthrough about taxes and barter. You may not think it's the most exciting topic, but trust me, you'll appreciate knowing these helpful tips. We often get asked about the GST, HST, or PST, and how to work these sales taxes and barter deals. As you know, the government doesn't accept barter for taxes, so we are going to explain how the sales tax and barter deals work together. For the sales taxes, you collect in barter credits, you remit them in Canadian dollars. For the GST or HST on business expenses in barter, you're getting an input tax credit in Canadian dollars. So let's look at a quick example here. A lot of business owners don't prepare the GST HST return, so we're going to walk through a draft return and what the numbers look like. Of course, this is a fictional business. In this example, we'll show their cash and barter sales during the period from April to August. Normally speaking, you're either on a quarterly, monthly, or annual reporting period. So, this particular business during this period, with both cash and barter, has had sales of $34,000 and has collected in cash and barter $4,420 in GST, HST. And based on the expenditures that have been processed through this business, they have input tax credits of $5,700 right here. In this case, some construction projects they had going on outweighed the typical sales revenue. If we want to make this look more like a typical scenario where someone is actually paying out sales taxes, generally speaking, you're not getting a credit back unless you're in a period where you're having a massive launch. For example, you borrowed a million dollars and all of a sudden you're spending on advertising and a new construction project. And you have input tax credits from all these expenditures. Then you actually get money back from the government. But in a typical ongoing cycle of a business, you would be paying out unless you are having financial challenges and having more expenses than revenue. To make this a more normal example, we're going to pick a customer here, Lickety Split Ice Cream. And we're just going to say we do a $50,000 sale, which is going to generate about $6,500 in tax. Now, if we look at that same tax return, we're going to refresh that based on the additional sales. Now, you're looking at a more traditional return that you would see where your GST and HST collected during the period, whatever that period may be, is larger than the input tax credits that you have. So, the total owed is $5,000. So, if you were to do another $1,000 in sales through barter in a particular month, say you do $1,000 in barter sales, I will do it with Mark's auto body here. I'll type in $1,000, $1,000 generated another $130 in tax. This total of $1,130 is going to be collected in barter credits. That means the $130 here is not cash available to pay the government. It is actually in barter. So now, over on the GST HST tax return, before we hit the recalculate button, you can see that they were going to pay $5,173.35. And now we're going to recalculate. Now we have to pay $5,303.35, which, yes, is coming out of a Canadian bank account. But then let's say in that same period, you have an additional bill. Conveniently enough, it's also going to be for $1,000. It's also going to be in barter. Let's now look at our tax return. So, that one, $1,130 has been paid in barter credits, not in Canadian dollars. And we go over there and look at our tax return, and we can see that the input tax credit went up $130. And we're back down to remitting only $5,173.35. In a period where your sales and your expenditures and barter are roughly the same, your HST collected and the input tax credits that were created as a result of spending in barter and spending GST, HST, and barter will be the same. And the net impact on tax is completely neutral. In periods where you are doing more sales than you are purchases, then the net tax you are remitting Canadian dollars to the government is more as a result of doing some of that business on barter. But conversely, in the periods where you are spending your barter credits more and using them, then you are actually reducing the net tax you pay. So, let's say in this period, I had another $10,000 purchase that I made in barter, and that purchase had another $1,300 worth of HST on it, which is an input tax credit. 
my input tax credits would go up to roughly $7,100, and my net tax owing would drop roughly $5,100 to about $3,800. It doesn't mean that I'm getting that $1,300 cash back per se, but just means I'm putting out $1,300 less to the government. So, on the GST and HST, it does completely wash that way. We have a separate video to review PST.